with my very first Flawless Friday vlog. And this time we're gonna actually do something about skincare. Flawless Fridays is something that can pretty much be about skincare, mental health, uh, tips on how to be better, things to do to change your room around. You know, it could be about anything, but today we're gonna start with a basic, which is about keeping your skin vibrant and radiant so that you can be the unicorn in the room. Um, people tell me that I have pretty good skin, but what people don't know is that I have very problem skin um, as far as having like flaky nose and um, oily T-zone, but I try my best to keep it under control. And I'm gonna show you guys a few of the products that I use when I do my facials twice a week. The products that I'm going to use in this tutorial um, some of them are basic products from Target, CVS, or whatever convenience store you go to. Um, but I always start with the cleanser. You always want to clean your face first. And I use L'Oreal Pure Clay Cleanser. And it isn't a mask. Don't use it as a mask. Just use it as a clay to mousse. Let it, like, get all foamy on the face. Yeah, use this because this really, really helps to just get a lot of the dirt out. And I use this every day. When you start off using the cleanser, it looks like a mask and it makes you feel like you want to keep it on your face. But don't. No, just literally use it as a mask, especially in all of your weaker areas. I got a pimple growing in. Oh, hurts really bad. And then... Just wash it off with warm water. Not hot water, not cold water, but warm water, and then just let it air dry. I go into an exfoliator. The exfoliator that I use, which is the second step, is St. Ives Blackhead Clearing uh, Green Tea Scrub. Um, I've always used St. Ives. I used to use the apricot scrub, but my skin is very sensitive to citrus. So I went ahead and started using this one because I do get blackheads. The blackhead clearing one from St. Ives. And oh my God, it feels so good. It smells so good on my face. I just hope I don't wash my eyebrows off today. And I always like to get over my eyebrow because we do a lot of plucking and tweezing and razoring so it causes flaky and dry skin there oh yes after step two i'm already feeling it face is vibrant and clean the next thing that we're going to be using which is step three which is your mask and it's a honey and lavender mask that my sister made uh, we always look for natural masks to put on our face just because we know we have very sensitive skin and we can't really use things that have citric acid and things like that in it so I'm gonna be trying this for the first time and I can't wait to see what it does for my skin. And whenever I use a face mask, I use this little like silicone brush. Um, it makes it really easy to apply it. Oh, this smells so good. Mmm. Mmm. Now I'm gonna apply it. And I always start under my eyes. I don't know why. I just feel like it's the most space to build from is when you're under your eye. And yes, it's going to be very sticky and very sweet because it's honey. So as long as you don't have any ants in your house, you should be okay. No bees flying around, you know, you should be all right. And just slick it on on there. And you don't have to put a whole bunch. I mean, it is like, Thick, but you don't have to have it thick all over your face. So. So I didn't realize my face was as big as it was. That took a really long time, but it felt good while I was doing it. Very soothing and I'm listening to the rain outside. So, you know, period poo. Now you wait for about 20 to 25 minutes. Let the mask sit, let it feed into your skin. 
and I'm going to hang out with Moonshine. Come here. Say hi. After you have masked your face and when I tell you my skin feels amazing and it smells really really good because of the lavender and the honey and, mm, I feel so good so next thing you want to do is use your toner um, mine once again is Garnier skin active toner made with rose water and you want to just spray like not too close to your face and then you moisturize. And like I told you, I use the Glam Glow moisturizer. It does have a little shimmer to it, so if you don't like shimmer, you know, use whatever you like. But for me, it's perfect. Because I love glitter and I love shimmer and I love sparkling and being radiant. And this gives a very soft, like, radial glow. And that's how I do my facial. Got that little unicorn glow going on. Um, thank you for watching. And if you want to subscribe, please go ahead and subscribe because that would mean the world to me. And give me tips on what I should try next, what I should talk about. Um, Self-care is the best care. Uh, remember, it's your world and we're just living in it. So until I talk to you lovely people next time, peace, love, and happiness. Thanks for watching. Radio, roll up, light, light it up and smoke. Don't want to worry about tomorrow. Just want to live and let the stress go.